Hi, hi. Uh, my name is Tenkai, and I am Zeta Ohm. Um, I'd like to show you guys uh, some of the products I've been working on. Um, let's start with the Fluxus One. This is my sequencer that I released about two years ago, and it's a four-channel, 64-step sequencer. Um, the some of the so each channel has a gate output, a pitch CV output, as well as a modulation CV output. Um, and what's fun is that the modulation CV output can actually send LFOs or envelopes. Um, and I can show you how that works with uh, this guy right here. So what I'm going to do is uh, patch one of the modulation outputs into the frequency modulation of this filter. And um, if I... So I just uh, began sending a sawtooth waveform into the filter cutoff. And that sawtooth waveform is triggered on the first step. What I can do is on the eighth step here, uh, trigger a different uh, uh, LFO. So, so I'll do a sine wave LFO that runs slower. Um, another fun feature of the sequencer is that I can uh, trigger an arpeggio on each step. So I'm going to disconnect the uh, LFO and hook up an envelope generator here so we can hear the... Whoops. <laughs> Um, so let's do an arpeggio on the first step here. So what I just did was on the first step, I triggered a four-step arpeggio that randomizes the pitch um, based on a musical interval, which is a major seventh scale right now. I can do a major seventh sharp five as well, or a whole slew of different... Uh, musical intervals and I can change the speed I can make it a, a down or an up arpeggio and uh, yeah so the Fluxus one also has um, has uh, up to 64 save slots right now um, so you can uh, you can create a bunch of different sequences and then quickly quickly change between them. It also features song mode and has a MIDI input and output so you can sync to um, any outboard gear you'd like. Um, it also has four gate inputs and four CV inputs which allow you to modulate different parameters of the sequencer. Um, for example, one thing, one thing that's also fun is that you can do this modulation internally as well. So what I can do is set gates on the channel 2 here and I can make channel 1 um, jump four steps every time a gate comes on uh, channel two. So you can see that um, the sequence is jumping around. We'll turn off this arpeggio. No, exactly. It's uh, it can you can you can uh, you can do a lot of nonlinear uh, functions with it, including uh, polyrhythms by changing the uh, the uh, the clock division for each channel independently. So you can do like a quarter speed clock on the first channel here, or you can do and you can do like a fifth uh, clock division on the second channel. And if you did that, you'll get you get very interesting polyrhythms because the the, the fractions kind of don't line up perfectly. Um, and my second module here that is still a prototype is the stereo morphing filter that I'm working on. I call it the ZMF. It's the working title. And the unique feature about this uh, filter is that it ha it can smoothly morph between low pass to band pass and a high pass, and that can be controlled with uh, control voltage as well. So. What you can do is take the LFO we programmed before and hook it into the morph, and you can see that um, well, you can hear the high the high harmonics come through when the uh, when the CV is is high and it's in it and it, and it uh, only opens up the high pass filter. Um, I do this using a uh, a array of 20 VCAs that are all internal to this filter. So the filter itself is four state variable filters, and they all um, are. Uh, they're, they're arranged in stereo, so you have two in the left, two in the right, and 
you can shift the secondary filters for each left and the right channel independently with the front panel control here. Um, and uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's still a work in progress. It's probably about 90% finished, but we're trying to, yeah, the, um, the, the morphing kind of gets a little nuts. It's a little unwieldy. Uh, it, you, it, 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 uh, it doesn't, uh, so you can control the clipping here with the soft clip circuit, or you can turn off the clipping completely. And so when the clipping is turned off, it, it can, uh, you get some serious dynamic range, which is desirable in some circumstances, but not in others. So um, I have a soft clip switch here. Um, what else? Uh, you can independently control the left and right. Um, uh, secondary filters with CV control as well, and it has both proactive. I am uh, uh, have a linear FM circuit, which is currently not connected, but um, I'm working on it and trying to implement a through zero FM functionality for the filter, which is still forthcoming. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think that's about it. If you want to know more about this, uh, check out my Instagram at uh, ZetaOm. And uh, I have a forum called planet.zetaohm.com, which you can come and check out uh, what other people have to say and ask questions and uh, find out more info.